Fires have receded, but the problems and the damage costs, they're still rising. Flash flooding hit parts of the metro area hard late last night. Indy's east side took the brunt. Our cameras recorded drivers trying to slowly crawl through flooded intersections there. Intersections of parts of Sherman Drive had turned to ponds. A few drivers ended up stranded once their engines were flooded out and stalled. Southeastern Avenue by the railroad tracks also flooded. It was a big night for towing companies, a busy night for them. Also sending crews to help those stranded drivers. And today is a busy day for restoration crews and mechanics, especially since July is the wettest month ever for the city of Indianapolis. Todd's here with more on that record set for the city. Todd, what can you tell us about that? And Mark, yesterday, 1.25 inches of rainfall. The airport in Indianapolis putting us over that record. Uh, the heaviest of the rain, as Mark mentioned, the eastern side of Marion County up to the northeast from Washington Township through Castleton to Lawrence. This area you see in red here, that was over five inches of rain that fell in a just very short period of time. But as Mark alluded to, 13.13, that's the total for the month of July rainfall so far, the wettest month ever in the city of Indianapolis. And with that rain total for the summer, June through August here, we are now in second place with almost 21 and a half inches of rain. Still a few days left in July, all of August. So not out of the question that we could top that record set way back in 18. 1875.